we're heading out on this epic adventure the beginning camping uh it's just it's an amazing time it's really cool i got the rooftop tent on there i got everything packed up in here so this is going to be kind of a long video where i'm going to be going to the tesla bros we're going to be doing some stuff there and then i'm going to be heading up to north dakota it's all going to be in one trip so this is going to be so I, I suggest getting a snack and watching this as you already saw this is going to be kind of a long video you know it might be long for you guys but it's definitely going to be a longer trip for me this video is brought to you by roof nest mountain pass performance and by onyx off-road also brought to you by I have all the way till Sunday to get to North Dakota and uh, meet up with the guys. And that's a long drive. Who goes to North Dakota anyway? Well, I guess I am. So I'm here at the Asheville Supercharger, which it shows that there's extra ones here, but I think that they're installing them right now. They're not actively working. I plugged into one of these here. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> you hit the button and nothing happens. So they are in the process of adding four more stalls, which is amazing because this one is always busy and two of them are broken right now, or actually three of them are broken right now. I moved over and actually told some people how to uh, plug in and not share the power from people but you can see i'm plugged in right here there's another model y and then a three but there was someone right there i just moved over so i can get full power somewhat get 94 with 160 miles it says i'll get there with eight percent if we look down here nine percent you know i'm not going to make that so we're going to pump up a little bit more have to wait a little bit longer and uh to make it to our destination. So I made it to the supercharger in Kentucky. We were just in Kentucky. I think it's um, Katawa, maybe Katawa. I'm pretty much full. I'm ready to go. Uh, this is a long stretch to the next supercharger. It's 129 miles, but there's some elevation. So with 
the tent and everything, I need to charge quite a bit. So I'm charging up to where it would say I would have 30%. And right now it's 24%. I'm gonna charge for a little bit longer. We're at 87% uh, battery. Uh, Man, I wish this thing would have, I wish they would put a lot larger batteries in this for stuff like this. Hey Elon, when you make a, an off-road Model Y, put a bigger battery. So I'm at the Mount Vernon Supercharger in Illinois, charging up, getting a pretty good charge, decent charge. We gotta do a deep charge though, again, because we're 141 miles to the next supercharger, two hours and 10 minutes. But with the watt hour per mile that we're getting here, it's not the best. It's been, it's been very, very windy. It's a big headwind, side winds, you know. So that I think is taking a little bit more toll on the watt hour per mile. We're making it. We're fine. One more stop and then the campsite. And I'm excited to set everything up and get a good night's sleep. So I've been looking for a campsite. This really cool app, Onyx Off-Road. They've actually helped sponsor this trip. It's a really cool mapping software, which tells you all the trails. Right now it just looks like a map. You can go to a satellite map, you can go to topographical map, or a hybrid of both. And you can see right in here where things actually are. So right down the street is actually a campsite. But it's only four o'clock. I kind of want to go a little farther. And there is a campsite that I've saved along the way. And where is it at? Oh, see, I put a pin right here. And this is the campsite that I'm going to try to get to. Looks like there's some nice walking trails through here. There's some waterfalls in there. And this is really nice. So uh, I've, I've dropped a pin so I can get right to there. It even tells you $25 a night. It tells you the weather nearby trails but you can actually put photos in there whatever so the different elevations and looks like there's some camping back in here and um, should be some electric hookups for uh, pulling in there so i'll be able to back into one of these things plug in the car overnight sleep here there's restrooms and uh, there's actually a shower in there uh, the cool thing is you can copy the gps coordinates go over to apple maps paste those in there and it's going to pull you up right there and the cool thing i don't know if you knew this but you can share this to your tesla and you know you can share it to friends but if you swipe down here you can share it to tesla and it'll send it right to your car and since i had don't i didn't have the screen down it shows it right there so this is where we're actually going to go so i was looking for a campsite so i got to 100 percent charged on the battery site for tonight there's actually water over there there's a dam i think over there on that side and then there's a ton of camping over there but i wanted to be away from everybody and it comes with a bench we're paid i gotta put this on the post over here so the ranger doesn't get me perfect Only took a couple minutes to set this up and uh, now you just got to get all the other stuff out. It's 540 so we got plenty of time to go look around, look at the water, see the sunset, cook dinner, still gonna be light out. I've got some lights I can actually run to a tree. I don't know if I'm going to tonight, there's some bugs out, but I kind of wanted to stop. I was tired of driving, plus I knew I wasn't going to make it to my supercharger because this I'm down below, you can see these campsites are up a little bit higher. I'm down a little bit below, but the wind is strong. And 
Uh, I was, it was all headwind, so I probably would have had to stop in St. Louis, Missouri, and then head north again. And it, I wouldn't have gotten to the campsite that I wanted to till about 8.30, 9 o'clock. And that's just I, kind of late. I want to set this up. It's nice out. It's beautiful. Not the most high quality, but it's gonna taste pretty good. Down by the water here, there's a beach, no lifeguard on duty, but a beautiful water. I think this is Carlisle Lake, I'm not positive, but pretty far from where I'm camping, way over there, there's a bunch of campers set up on the side over here. This is beautiful here. So a cheap little campsite off the beaten path, beautiful water. Uh, sunset is gonna be, or sunrise is gonna be right behind me. I'm gonna try to get up for that in the morning. Chill out by the fire. Wait, I don't have a fire. Maybe someone will invite me over to their fire. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna chill out by the car and uh, get some good night rest because I wanna get up early so I can make up the, the time or the, the miles that I didn't go today. Because it's a, it's a drive to Fargo. I'm in Illinois, by the way. Pretty nice place. So it's kind of late. It is, well, not too late it's eight o'clock but the sun has set already i'm i'm just sitting here uploading some footage um uploading the footage to my computer and watching some uh, youtube of lifestyle overland i'm gonna they're in utah i'm gonna be in utah soon and uh, i like checking out where where we can go but i got some lights set up a string of lights set up over to this tree over here just to light up everything and uh, the tent does have some lights underneath it and inside the tent. Uh, maybe I'll turn those on right now. All right, well, they don't come on like that, but <laughs> I went up there and turned the light on. I got lights inside the tent and underneath. There's some rails there, which is really nice when you're trying to climb out of that at nighttime, but it's a beautiful, beautiful night. So I made it to Peoria, I'm gonna hook up. Check out this while this is setting up. Never seen this before. That's one A, B, C, and one D. I've never seen that before. I've never seen uh, A, B, C, and D. Then this is a V3 supercharger, so the, the numbers don't even matter, really. So I'm wondering why there's two boxes over there, so maybe, maybe they're split up. I don't know. Wonder if it makes a difference if you're on one or two. Is, is A through D sharing? If you know, let me know. I'm kind of curious. I thought these didn't share at all. Looks like we're at a grocery store. I'm gonna walk in there. We're charging up here, but I'm gonna figure out where I'm going first. Actually, no. Ooh, that's not cool. I gotta unplug that refrigerator. So I unplugged my refrigerator. I didn't really talk about that. I'm gonna show you my refrigerator, but it's plugged in. 
I've been plugging it into the back of the car. There's a cigarette lighter back there in the Model Y, if you didn't know that, or a power outlet. I do have a battery pack, but I can't charge the battery pack from the sun and plug in the refrigerator. This happened before as I made it to Tesla Bros and we reset the computer, but we reset it by unplugging the battery and turn the power off to the main battery. And it kind of, I mean, it fixed it obviously, but I'm gonna see what this does. I'm gonna go into the store, reset this, and then I can always do this tonight, reset the whole thing again. There's nothing wrong with it because I have a solar panel on the hood, which is actually hooked up to the battery. So it's a 100 watt solar panel being charging the battery pack, which that's hooked up to. So it should be just fine. Plus I have, I have this computer that's actually hooked up to the battery. So we're at 13.6 volts. I think what's happening is the computer just sees that it's pulling, something is pulling a lot of power and it sees something should be wrong. Or I do a dual battery system. Someone mentioned that to do a dual battery system. I wonder if it's possible in a Tesla. Can we do dual battery? And I'll be back. I'm gonna reset the car probably. I'll, I'll just do the, um, I'll reset it with the steering wheel nipples and see what happens. So I learned something today. In Minnesota, people love camping and you have to have a reservation apparently. They have a whole government website that you go to and you call or you go online and reserve and everything is booked up. It's Mother's Day weekend. By the way, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Uh, if you're allowed to say that anymore. You would think that not too many people would be camping on Mother's Day. Well, today's Saturday, tomorrow's Mother's Day. But it's booked up. I get all the way to a campsite and it's because there's a big campsite or a big campground anyway. I figured, well, there's got to be a place available. Get all the way there. It's all booked up. I had her check the different places around and it's all booked up everywhere. So I guess, I guess it's a good thing because I'm running behind. Right now I'm in, I'm in Rochester, Minnesota at a supercharger and then I'm going to be going to uh, where am I going to? Minneapolis. I'm not far from Minneapolis. It's like what, 70 miles or something like that. I guess I'm going to cannonball it basically to Fargo, get some rest in between because I got to make it all the way across North Dakota to meet Kyle from out of spec motoring tomorrow, tomorrow evening. That's a long trip. Let me put it in the computer. I have to get to that supercharger that's 500 miles away is 10 hours 10 and 10 hours and 30 minutes away plus i still have to go up here somewhere i don't even know where the campsite is i'm going to go in the store here and get a mountain dew i already had a five hour energy today i don't really want a five hour energy two of them i guess i'm just going to cannonball it as much as i can because of this thing is killing my range so it'll be a late night I bought a steak. I was going to cook steak tonight. Man. You know what? I'm going to get there early tomorrow. And I'm going to cook my steak really good. Waiting for them. That's what I'm going to do. That's the plan. Change of plans. I'm just, woo, change of plans. So it is 7 in the morning here in Fargo, North Dakota. Never thought I'd say... I was in North Dakota. Now I have to travel all the way across North Dakota to meet up with out of spec motoring. The good thing is it is all V3 superchargers, but they're not very fast when the battery is freezing. I ended up sleeping a couple hours at uh, well, a rest stop and then the last supercharger or two superchargers ago, I took a nap. So I'm running a little empty. There's a McDonald's right over there that once I'm done charging, I'm gonna stop and get some food and Get some nice warm coffee because it's cold here. It's 34 degrees. I'm from North Carolina. I'm used to warmer weather. So luckily I have this nice warm jacket. I don't know why Kyle picked this far up 
but you know, whatever. I'm hoping it's not too, too cold, especially because they're riding motorcycles. I don't even know what campsite we're going to. This is definitely an adventure. Definitely an adventure. By the way, it's Mother's Day. Any, any mothers out there watching? Happy Mother's Day. Well, this is North Dakota. This is it. This is all you're gonna see. I think it all looks like this. Straight driving. I think there's snow where I'm gonna end up at. And then in Montana, and then in Montana, I think there's snowing. It's snowing there, so this car's never seen snow. Well, thanks for watching. We are a little farther along in our trip. Uh, Karen's up there. Karen's up there laying down right now in the tent. It's getting late. It's it's nine o'clock here. We're in Utah, uh, just north of Salt Lake City. There's some nice mountains behind us and Salt Lake somewhere. There's a lot more videos to come at, along with this trip. I picked Karen up from the airport in Glacier National Park two days ago. Was it two days ago? Yeah, we've been on the road for two days. I have Karen with me for the next two weeks. This is kind of Karen's graduation. She just, graduation present, she just finished grad school. And she has two weeks off of work and we are, she's relaxing, she's having fun. We're gonna be going off road. We're heading towards Moab tomorrow and we're gonna be taking this vehicle off road. This here is a, this is a bougie campground. This is like a beginner campground. That's why I wanted to take Karen to this one. There's like, um, there's some really expensive RVs here. We're the only ones sleeping on top of our cars here. <laughs> Everyone else has bathrooms in their rigs. The next place we go to is completely off grid. We're gonna fully charge. We're gonna head off into the desert, into, I don't wanna, Karen's getting scared as I say this to her, but we're gonna be out in the wild. A lot better things to look at. We're actually going off road with this car. We're taking it off road. I'm super excited for this. This is what I've been waiting for on this trip. It was all, it was fun with Kyle from Out of Spec Motoring, taking those motorcycles across Montana. That video will be later on. Uh, their video will be out later on too. That was a totally different experience versus what we're doing now. Out in the wild, birds are singing, great videos are happening. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe, tell your friends, and good night.